Hi guys! In this video we'll connect Shadow Socks to WSSH Tunnel Manager and then share the internet by a Wi-Fi hotspot. We have a PC that is connected to a home Wi-Fi network. That is the only connection. And we'll share the internet from Shadow Socks using the same card. Shadow Socks has several types of encryption. It's created by Chinese developers for bypassing Chinese firewall as they write in different articles. I can say that it's pretty fast and it has UDP protocol, which is rare in other Socks. How to understand if there is UDP or not? That's easy. When Shadow Socks is launched, you see the hosts with UDP protocol in the process hacker. As we see here, the host 10744 is working on both TCP and UDP now. But even if your Socks supports UDP, your browser may not. If you connect your browser to Socks directly, the browser still uses TCP. WSSH Tunnel Manager supports both TCP and UDP. To connect Socks to Tunnel Manager, go to Options and activate Socks checkbox. The window will update and switch the Socks tab. Our Socks is using port 10744 and we need to add this host to WSSH Tunnel Manager. Let's test it. We see that Socks is working. We see the destination IP and we can check UDP here. To start and share these socks, we need to run a Wi-Fi hotspot. To do that, set a new name and password and activate the checkbox. After that, a new adapter appears. It's called My Wi-Fi. It may also have a number in the title. My Wi-Fi is activated, but we can't connect to it now because it's not receiving any internet yet. We need to connect our socks to it. Go to SSH Tunnel Manager, check the host and configure it. Right-click on it, then Auto DNS. And here you can choose one of the remotes. Virtual Machine Bridge, Ethernet or Virtual Machine Bridge 2. Use Ethernet in case you also want to share Ethernet. But now I'll use Wi-Fi and Virtual Machine Bridge is the best option. Then choose Suitable DNS. I use VPN, that's why I've chosen Onion DNS and UDP DNS. Finally, click Run Socks. So, we've been connected and our SSH bridge is active. DNS search is ongoing. OK, it's been found. Wi-Fi icons become green, so it's active. Here we see DNS response, we have German DNS. Now we can connect to our Wi-Fi using any device. 
That's it. Thanks for watching. 